What's up guys, Tommy Bennett here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to go fast on your snowboard. But more importantly, I'm gonna teach you how to stay in control while you're doing it. So make sure you stay tuned and stick to the end. If I miss anything or you got something to add, make sure you put it in the comments below. Awesome guys, let's get started. Skirt, 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 skirt. So when it comes to going fast, you gotta be in a body position that allows you to either put on the brakes or be stable. So what I want you guys to do is have your shoulders, your hips, and your knees all stacked on top of each other. And then when I'm going this direction, I'm in this strong position. Imagine you're like weightlifting, you have a bunch of weight on your back. If I'm here, it's a very weak position. In addition, if my lead shoulder is super open, how much time does it take to get on my toe side edge? I have to go back to center and then apply weight. Not as ideal. But if I'm already in this position, in the center, in a neutral position, it's really easy to go to my toes and my heels. This movement is gonna be super fast. Now it's gonna be key when we're going fast because you're gonna have to be able to get on that toe side edge intentionally and then your heel side intentionally. Now after that, if you take your belly button and sink it down, you're gonna be in a strong athletic position. You know, the same position we learned about in high school. We're in this lower body position. We're gonna be able to absorb the train or push away with our knees. That allows us to stay in contact with the ground the whole time. And that's gonna be key too. The more you're in contact with the ground, the easier it is to turn your snowboard. If you're just bobbling like this, not sick. When it comes to going fast, the number one thing is being able to stay in control, but more importantly, you gotta be able to stop. So I'm gonna explain stopping on our heel side, to heel side really quick. Now when we're doing a heel side turn, you wanna make sure your belly button is as stacked over the edge as possible. Well, I'm gonna show you a clip of me exaggerating a heel side stop, and if my belly button and my center of mass goes too far down, I'm gonna end up slipping out. The other thing that will happen is if you put too much of an aggressive edge angle and you're tilting too much, your board's gonna start skipping. And then just as I talked about earlier, if your board's not in contact with the snow, you're not gonna be slowing down. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna point the board straight down the hill and then I'm gonna try to stop as soon as possible. Now this is an exercise you can do on its own, an isolated movement. Go fast, slow down. How fast can you slow down? This actually could be a really cool competition you do with your friends. Go fast, who can stop the fastest while staying in control? That's gonna be very important to going fast is knowing you can stop. So within that exercise, you'll notice that I am being able to slam on the brakes. I'm getting my belly button close to the board, so I'm in a strong, compact position, but I'm not leaning over too far. Now, if I lean over too far, I'm gonna end up slipping and sliding, and then end up like falling on my butt, as you just saw there. So it's important that you get your belly button low, that you're lifting up your toes, and you're in a strong position like this, so you can handle the braking position. But as soon as my belly goes back here, I'm falling over. So, now the same thing is gonna apply when it comes to our toe side edge. We wanna make sure that our belly button is getting low, that we're leaning over, that we're in a strong athletic balanced position, but if we go too far, we're gonna chatter, we're gonna slip out, we're not gonna be able to stop, so that's kinda counterproductive. I'm gonna show you a couple toe side edges, a couple toe side turns and breaking, and then we're gonna start cooking it. All right, you guys ready? So when it comes to going fast, obviously I want you to stay in control. Now there's a couple of things to consider. Make sure that you're not cutting anybody off, you're not getting super close to anybody, and then you're choosing appropriate terrain. Now a lot of the times, your blues and blacks are gonna be a lot steeper with less restrictions when it comes to speed. 
Also, there are some resorts that allow no straight lining. Straight line essentially means you are going flat base and absolutely no turns. So make sure that you're abided by the rules and you know what's going on. All right, guys. So now we're going to get into some steeper terrain. So we're going to have Jonathan Buckhouse here. He's going to follow me on some of this steeper terrain so that you guys can get a feel and a sight of what I'm doing when it comes to my turns. Again, make sure you're looking around. Make sure you're not getting taken out or cutting anybody off. So Buckhouse, you ready, my dude? Oh, I'm ready, dude. All right, let's get it. Buckhouse. Bye, guys. So we just went down a super steep run and it was actually a lot of fun. A couple of things that I was thinking about as I was ripping up some turns was letting my belly button be low and closer to the ground. That made me feel more stable, more in control. The next thing that I was thinking about is I always want to be on an edge. So if I'm able to be on a toe side edge, then I can control my speed at any given time. And then I'm on my heel side, I'm controlling my speed. Now, if I lean back too far, I'm gonna have that chatter. So I wanna make sure that I understand where my belly button is. Obviously, you can point your nose of your board straight down the fall line. You're gonna accumulate the most amount of speed. But because this video is about being in control, I do wanna say and be on an edge so that at any time, I can just turn my board across the fall line or I can engage a more of a tilt to slow down. So there's a couple things that I was doing on this run. Uh, in addition to that, I was keeping my eyes up. I'm looking around as I'm making those turns across the fall line. I'm looking around to make sure that I'm not cutting anyone off. More importantly, I'm not going to get taken out because that would suck. I got Jonathan Buckhouse here with a quick tip about going fast and being in control. For me, guys, when I am going quick, I'm going to ride extra fast. I'm going to actually put my butt to the tr my, the. Okay guys, so for me, when I'm going fast and I want, I know I want to bomb a section, I'm going to put my butt to the trees that are behind me, protecting my blind side. That way I know no one's going to be coming in and smoking me. So if you are going to go fast, you can do these small things that are going to make sure you can go a little faster, but also be extra safe. So if you're a goofy rider, that's going to be skiers right. If you're going to be a regular rider, that's going to be skiers left. I just kind of hug that tree line. I can go a little extra fast because I have to look out for less people because I know the trees are protecting my butt. This whole point of this video is I know you're going to go fast, so I want to make sure that you're in control. When it comes to control, I want to make sure that you're able to stop on a dime so that you're not running into a tree, you're not taking someone out, and that you're having the best time ever without getting hurt. If you snowboard more, you're simply going to get better at snowboarding. So this is my way of helping you snowboard more, getting better, and staying healthy. So hope you guys enjoy that. tips for being able to go fast and stay in control. If I miss anything, comment down below and let me know. Also, I do have some Killing It stickers and some merch that are linked in the description. And if you're trying to become the best snowboarder possible, I do have an online course where I'm able to break snowboarding down super nerdy and very detail oriented. So if you guys want to check that out, it's also listed down below. And then make sure you subscribe and I drop a video every single Friday at 4.30 
and I do a live stream once a week. So make sure you jump on that. If you got any questions you want to interact with me, jump on the live stream. We'll be able to chat. I'll be able to answer your questions right away. Also, I post every single day on Instagram. I do a breakdown every day. So make sure you go check that out as, check that out as well. Once again, I can't do these alone because that's not fun. So I got my boy out here. Hey, what up guys? Jonathan Buckhouse, his video and his channel is in the description. So make sure you go follow him. He drops a video every single day of the year. Woo! Boom. Thank you.